As I sat at a dinner party for our philosophy club, I realized one of the people with us was a draft dodger from the Russia-Ukraine war. Once Russia announced the draft, he escaped the country and ended up in Mexico. Donovan, a 75-year-old veteran who was drafted in Vietnam, turned to me and said it was a senseless, brutal conflict that was happening. We spoke of how Zelensky and Putin should fight to the death to settle their differences instead of costing the lives of all those innocent young men. Then he asked if I knew that each day approximately 150,000 people die and 385,000 people are born. No, I told him. I didn't know that. Donovan then asked me if I was the person tasked with taking those 150,000 people out of the world each day, if I'd do anything different. It's a job that needs to get done, after all. Every day people are coming in, and every day people are going out. We need death. It's part of the cycle of life. It's one of our duties. So with those 150,000 people that need to die each day, what would I do to change it if I was in charge? Well, I'd make sure only old people go up, I started. Give all the young people the chance to experience life. But then I was flooded with thoughts that would take the randomness 